This video is about making a matrix for your 12-tone series. Uh, in serialism, it's often useful to create a grid-like uh, map of all the possible inversions and transpositions, retrogrades and retrograde inversions of a prime form. That's called a matrix, and it looks like a big 12 by 12 grid. And uh, there are three steps to making a matrix. The first step is transpose your prime form to start on zero uh, and write it on the matrix. The next step is to invert prime. And the third uh, step is to fill in the rest. <clears throat> so uh, the first step is reducing prime to zero. So if we have our series from Dalla Piccola's De Zona Compte, 8975E423T106, our job is to take that first number and transpose it so it starts on zero. And then we take that transposition and apply that to the rest of the series. So we're transposing the whole row up four semitones so that our first member starts with zero. So this is P0, 01E938 zero e because we've added four to all of these members of the series. Keep in mind, we keep the series intact. We are simply transposing the whole thing by four semitones to get to zero. So for example, if your prime started on six, <coughs> if your uh, prime form was P6, you would transpose it by six semitones to get to zero. In this case, it's P8, so we transpose it up four semitones. Once you've transposed it to zero, you write it at the top of your matrix. This represents P0. Note two that we've filled in this cool diagonal of zeros from top left to bottom right. Our matrix will eventually show all orderings of prime, all orderings of retrograde, all orderings of inversion, and all orderings of retrograde inversion. The second step is to invert prime P0 by finding its complement mod 12. So remember we can start with zero, so zero mod 12 is zero. P1, <coughs> I'm sorry, the second member of prime is 1. Its complement is 11, mod 12. The next number is E. Its complement is 1. 9 complements to 3. 3 complements to 9. 8 not complements to 4, and so on. And you fill in your vertical alignment accordingly. 7 to 5, 2 to T, 5 to 7, 4 to 8, 10 to 2. That's the second step. The third step is to fill in the rest of the matrix by filling in, in each transposition of P0 according to the steps in I0. So if we start with P0, uh, P1E938672540, that's P0. We then use our created inversion to find the next P1, and then it increase your members by one. So P1 is here. So if we zero to one, so that means the next member in the set is gonna go one to two, we add one. 11 to zero, nine to 10, three to four, and we write in P1. The next step is to find P2 <coughs> in our inversion. That would be down here. And so we add one to this list to make this list. The next step is to find P3. So we add one from two, P2 to create P3. So two, three, one, three, four, two, and so on. And we keep going in this manner to fill in our grid with each transposition. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11. And eventually you'll have a, a PE that is a half step away from P0. This so happens to be E to 0, 0 to 1, 10 to 11, 8 to 9, and so on and so forth. Um, in this case, we have a matrix that shows us not just P0 and I0 and RI0 and retrograde 0, but also shows us the main uh, row forms for our piece, P8 and I9. So we can find P8 here and I9 up here. If we wanted to see retrograde in version 9, we would read up from the bottom. If we wanted to read retrograde 8, 
we would read from right to left.